So, welcome to Wake Up With Glamma this Wednesday morning. Um, I thought I would get ready with y'all this morning. Um, so yeah, we're in my beauty room and this is what my hair looks like when I first, um, when it's first washed. <laughs> and so yeah, I thought I would just get ready with y'all. I will um, talk to any of y'all. I'll answer any of y'all's questions here in a little bit after I'm done getting ready. But meanwhile, I just thought I would share what I did last night and what I've done thus far this morning. For any of y'all that are wondering, I'm using a Revlon Stylix. Um, I bought it at a thrift store. <laughs> I've got six p people in here. Hi, Diana. I'm going to miss your live events. Oh, because you know that today's the last day that I'm doing it daily. Um, I was thinking I might do, let me turn this down. I was thinking, hi, Sonia. She says, hi, Glamour. Finally, I catch you live. LOL. Yeah, you catch me looking really, really bad. <laughs> But I'm so glad you're in here, Sonia. I know that we talk a lot on Facebook. Um, we almost talk on a daily basis in there. Jacqueline says, hi, Glamma. Good to see you. Have a good day. Thank you. Are you leaving already? <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I just thought I would come on camera and because I'm running a little late, even though I woke up early today. Oh, Sonia says you're gorgeous. Thank you, you're too kind. Because this, to me, in my opinion, is the worst that I can look. Absolutely no makeup, no eyebrows, um, frizzy, frizzy hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, I. but thank you so much, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, have I already done all this? Oh no, I missed some pieces. Um, Stephanie Duran says, I made it, hi! It's it's me and Liam again. <laughs> Hi, Liam. How are you doing? Are you having a good day so far? <laughs> so did you play with all your toys like I asked you to last time? Did you make a big old fun, happy mess? <laughs> um, so yeah, this might get a little boring. I don't know. I might lose viewers. I've got eight viewers in here right now. But I was going to wait and do all this and then go live and I thought well by then it might be 12 30 and I've been telling y'all that I'm going hi shell good morning uh Sonia says natural beauty <laughs> well thank you I I'm glad you feel that way or I'm glad you're being kind to me because I really really don't see the natural beauty <laughs> um you know what though I think that if I had eyebrows natural dark bushy eyebrows or at least thicker than what I have I wouldn't mind going without makeup as much I think my eye lack of eyebrows makes me look kind of like an alien um so today like I said ow I just burnt my ear Joe Smith says you keep missing me again oh I'm sorry yeah I must be looking down right when your thing pops up and as soon as someone else hi Danielle Darlene how are you <laughs> I actually met Danielle at the Castroville Walmart a few months back. I think I missed someone else. Oh no. Jacqueline says, I think your natural hair looks nice. Thank you. Um, I think maybe if I did something to the front of it or something or just did something with the ends, you know, it, it, I have that beachy, that natural beachy wave thing going on, but the frizz accompanied with the wave is what I don't like. Um, so, but yeah, I'm sure there's products out there that I can buy so that um, the frizz goes away, but that I keep my natural wave. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I just throw mousse in it right out of the shower when it's still wet. And sometimes I just go with it like this. Um, it's what I used to do in the 80s. Danielle says, I'm great. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> so I figured I would do my hair, throw on a teeny bit of makeup. I was going to show you what I've been doing lately. Um, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup since I moved in here. I've been mainly using t using tinted moisturizer. Look at the difference though. That side to this side and it's still not as straight as I could get it. Um, do you still use that heat brush? Yes, I do. Um, and for some reason, this is, this is what I grabbed today though. Did, are you one of the ones that purchased that heat brush? Um, after I made a review on it, I love that heat brush. Um, 
but today this is just what was on my top shelf so this is what I grabbed okay let's go to the other side I don't really have any rhyme or reason to how I do this I just usually start in the back grab about this much hair I don't even pin up the rest of my hair because half the times I can't find my hair clips um, so this is how I straighten my hair. I try not to leave the heat on it too long. Um, just long enough to straighten it and defrizz it. I put this in my hair before I start um, putting heat on it. It's Cantu Shea Butter. It's oil sheen, deep conditioning spray. And let me hold it far away so I can read it. Um, it says softens and conditions lightweight shine for silky smooth hair I don't have my glasses on and I can't see protects from heat damage which is why I purchased it um so yeah that's what I've been using for months and months now okay I know I just did some where's the piece of hair I already did um so that's what I use I used to use I forget what the name of it is it used to come in a pink can my niece hope um turned me on to that one but I don't remember the name of it now but that's what I used to use so this is my my uh, I got this a couple months ago and it's lasted me this long so this was my first can of using this stuff and I like it just have to be careful it gets my hair sometimes a little too oily Liam is speechless all he can do is smile oh Liam you're so sweet what are you gonna do today Liam Tell your mom what you're going to do today and then tell me. What are you going to play with? What were you looking forward to the most when you woke up this morning? I'm sure I missed some comments here and there. Um, I'll go back after I'm done getting ready and, um, and get, get some of those comments that I missed. As I'm looking, if I look at the screen and I'm in a comment pops up I will definitely answer it but if I happen to be looking down I'm sorry I'll get it when I come back or you can um, re repost it while I'm looking up <laughs> now just keep in mind there is a lag time here so just because you hit send Diana says are you doing a weekly live video after this yes that's what I started to tell you sorry I got sidetracked I will miss the daily live videos Danielle says my toddlers are watching Ellie says hi hi Ellie I remember was it you that I met or were you asleep I think it was your son Danielle that I met right and was Ellie asleep or vice versa I don't remember I met Danielle at Walmart like I said a few months back and one of her toddlers was in the cart sitting up and the other one was asleep and so I don't remember I think it was him that I met and she was asleep I don't remember Stephanie Durant says, Liam says, I'm playing with toys again. Oh, yay! <laughs> I wish I could come play with you, Liam. I love to play with my granddaughter, Petrova. I always get Petrova in trouble, though, because I teach her things that I shouldn't teach her. <laughs> okay, let me get this piece of hair. Uh oh, that's a big chunk of hair. I should have, I shouldn't have grabbed this much hair. Yeah, see, it didn't straighten it too good. Let me get a smaller chunk here. Oh, I better turn this off. Okay, Google, stop. Because then if I have that on there, I can't monetize this video, and so it's probably already not going to be monetized because I forgot to turn off Google. I told Google to play... <laughs> Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. It heard me say to play, and so it started playing again. I had told it to play um, Carpenter's songs. Oh, oh Eli, don't, not Ellie. I don't understand. Okay, Eli, not Ellie. Okay, Eli's a boy, Nelly was asleep. I, okay, that's what I thought. I thought I had met your son and said hi to him, and I thought it was your daughter that was asleep. I have bad memory, but I do remember some stuff. Jan Janelle says, hello, beautiful. Hi, <laughs> good morning. Diana says, what does monetize mean? 
monetize as I explained the very oh the very first day that I went on live or maybe it was the second day I was telling y'all that the reason I was going to start going live every day for the rest of the month was because I had darn it okay Google stop music <laughs> um, it keeps on playing um I had gotten an email from Google um, YouTube telling me that they were going to unmonetize my Wake Up With Glamma channel because I didn't have enough views in there and I didn't have enough subscribers in there. Um, I think I had a thousand, hundred and fifty or something like that. Um, and now I think I have like 1180 in there. So I've gained some since going live every day. But monetize means if you see the ads, and commercials in the beginning, middle, and end of the videos on YouTube, that means they're monetized. If you click on the ads, then the YouTube creator, which is me, gets a few cents each time that those ads are clicked on. If you watch the commercials, um, sometimes they're ads, sometimes they're commercials, sometimes they're both. If you watch the commercials, all the way through to their entirety without hitting the skip ad button, um, I also get a few cents. Um, it's not a whole lot. I, there has to be a whole lot of viewing in order to even make um, a lot of money off of, off of AdSense. Um, but that's what monetize means. So they were threatening to not monetize my videos. I could still put content up, um, but they wouldn't be monetized. Okay, there's my hair, straight, <laughs> straight, straight as I'm gonna get it anyway. Ooh, there's some gray there. Let me get my handy dandy L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. So did y'all watch that video that I put up yesterday um, of what I do to cover my grays when I'm trying to cover them in between coloring? <laughs> That's what I use. Okay, let me see. Okay, now on to makeup. Let me see which comments I might have missed. Um, Danielle says, hi, I saw that one. Cammie's in here. Hi, Cammie. She says, hi, Glamma. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Danielle says, I'm great. Okay, I read that one. Rose says, hi, Glamma. Hi, Rose. Um... Joe Smith says, no, I'm in the UK, unfortunately. Oh, they don't ship to the UK? That's that's too bad. Stephanie says, Liam is, okay, I read that one. I, I guess I kind of hit and missed the ones that popped up and I read those. Diana says, are you doing a weekly? Okay, so that's what I, let me talk about that and then I'll come back and look at more. Um, so what I started to say and then got, si got sidetracked is that um, I think I decided to try to go live every Friday. I'll try to put... Um, little short videos up that I pre-record and then upload to YouTube on this channel. I'll try to do that on a daily basis. Um, but I'm thinking I really, really enjoy these live events. And I know that y'all have been enjoying them too. Um, and it just makes me feel good. It does. It feels like it's just friends coming together for our daily chit chat and so I really enjoy it and I don't want to not do it so I'm thinking maybe every Friday I can let you know um, what I'm thinking of doing that weekend and stuff so I'm gonna try to do that I'm sure there will be times where I don't get to it but um yeah that's what I'm thinking I'll do let me get the rest of the comments that I know I missed Danielle says my toddlers I saw that one Liam says I'm playing with toys Rose says hi Glamour did you miss me or did I miss you um, I don't know. <laughs> Danielle says, okay, I saw that one. Sonia says, guess what? What? I finally found your favorite lip liner. Yay! <laughs> and now it's my fave tiramisu lip liner. Yep, I have it right here. It's number 050. Let me see. I've got two that are kind of similar. Is this 050 or is this one 050? Yeah, this one right here. This is my favorite lip liner. And Sonia keeps saying, I can't find it. I can't. Uh oh, my internet went bad there for a second. 
Okay, Rose retracted her message. <laughs> maybe, maybe she had typos in there, so she'll correct them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what I've been doing lately when I've been coming on live. I haven't been wearing foundation or anything. I've just been wearing my um, CoverGirl BB cream, which is kind of like a tinted moisturizer. And then at Dollar Tree the other day, I bought this one. This one to me is too reddish, even though they're both medium. This one has too much of a reddish tone and this one has, it's too light. So I'm gonna kind of mix them both, I think, and do that today. So I don't even, I just kind of squeeze it on. Squeeze it on. Ooh, I put too much. Um, but I'm gonna throw on a little bit of the other one too. So I'm thinking of kind of doing a video on my beauty channel about this because to me, this is kind of like a no makeup makeup look. Okay, so I've got two colors on there. <laughs> you were looking for it at Target, but they don't carry it in stores, but Walmart has more selection. Really? Wow. Um, I don't go to Target that often, but now I will be because now we have one just right down the block. So this is what I've been using is just toint tointed tinted moisturizer um, on my face every morning before I go live. And so you're killing two birds with one stone. You're covering up any imperfections that you may not like about your face and you're moisturizing. So yay! Are you loving the new... Oh, some, it skipped up there. Don't, you'll get hooked on Target. <laughs> I know, and it's more expensive, isn't it? No, but yeah, Finesse and I are so excited to start shopping at Target regularly, but you're right. There's some things that I still go to Walmart for um, because they either don't carry it at Target or um, it's too expensive. <laughs> and I know I can get it cheaper at Walmart. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Instant Age Rewind. I know that I missed Danielle's comment up here. I saw a comment. Are you loving the new brushes you bought recently? I'm looking for a good inexpensive highlighting brush and a fluffy powder brush. I haven't tried the ones that I did, I think in my last vlog. Um, right now I'm using the Sigma ones that I showed in my beauty channel. I haven't tried those other ones They're right here. Are these the ones you're referring to? Um, Oh, mama, I better turn this off or I burn the house down. Um, I had just recently bought these right here. I haven't tried these. They're still in the package. I haven't quite unpacked everything. And then I also bought these, the white ones. Um, so as soon as I use them, I will let you know um, what I think of them. Here's these right here. These are white. And those other ones I showed you are rose gold. I haven't tried them yet. Um, but I will be soon. <laughs> okay, I should just leave these out. But I will. Be soon. All right, let me see. Um, the ones that I use, like this fluffy brush right here, I got at BH Cosmetics. So these were my first set of. Well, I bought some Eco Tools, but it was just like four or five brushes. But these were my first um brushes that Adam got me the year I turned fifty. Um, yes, the dense ones in the bag. Yeah, um, I haven't tried them yet, so I will be trying those. And these are actually pretty dense too, um, these rose gold ones. Um, the ones that weren't very dense were the ones that were the free brushes. Um, I ended up giving those to Finesse, and so Finesse watched, my, watched a part of my vlog or my video later and says, Oh, well, you were going to do it for a giveaway, and you gave them to me, so I guess I won the giveaway. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, okay, so I just kind of been doing this, um, just very lightly to y'all. It's like, that is not lightly. That is a lot, <laughs> but I will be trying those and I've got a feeling I'm really going to like them. Danielle says, okay, can't wait. Cammie says, yeah, I got those brushes too. Love them from BH. Which ones do you have? Do you have these with the, with the gray silver handle or are you talking about the rose gold ones that I just got? Or are you talking about the white ones? The white ones I got on, I think it was after, after, um, what do you call it? After Black Friday and after Cyber Monday, it was like everything that was left over that didn't sell on those sales. Um, 
were sold very, very cheap. So I bought those white ones for 15 bucks and they look like they're gonna be awesome, awesome brushes. Um, okay, so there's that. And usually I set my powder, but I haven't been, when I've been coming on live, I haven't been setting it, but I will today. So setting your concealer helps keep everything concealed all day long. It really does make a difference. So I'm just putting this everywhere that I apply my concealer. Okay, so I've only got eight people in here. Obviously, a lot of people aren't into makeup, so they're like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> um, let me see if I missed any comments. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, y'all can retype it. Yes, the gray ones. Okay, you have the gray ones. Yes, my husband bought me the set that rolls out. It's like 50 something brushes. Um, he bought me those around the time that I turned 50. <laughs> Danielle says, Glam, on my birthday is Saturday. I'm going to be 39. Wow, well have a good day. I hope you have the most fantastical day ever. <laughs> um, let me see what else. I just turned 53 in September, so our birthdays are very, very close together. Okay, so the next thing I've been doing is I've been using this bronzer by Be A Bombshell. It came in one of my Beauty Box 5s, and so I've just been using this as um, kind of a blush, kind of just to give me a little bit of color and, um, yeah, like a bronzer. Danielle says thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, we don't celebrate birthdays or anything, but, you know, it's still a pretty special day because, um, hey, it's the day we came into this world. So I, I still, in some sort of way, acknowledge it just by, you know, remembering, of course, because we're here because of that birthday. Um, that was our actual birthday. Um, Rose says, hi, Glamma. Can you answer my earlier question, please? I don't know what it was. What was it? I don't remember. You have to keep in mind that when the comments are here, they disappear after a few seconds. So if I miss it, like I said a second ago, repost it or re-comment. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Just a little bit of bronzer. And... I haven't been high, I haven't been doing anything to my nose, but maybe I will today. Just a little bit here. See, if I'm looking down, I don't see comments, so I apologize, guys. So you have to kind of redo it. That's what I do when I'm watching someone live and I know that they didn't see my comment and they skipped over me. I just go ahead and do it again, <laughs> and then eventually they'll see it. All right, so there's that. And then I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild highlighter. It's Precious Petals. And I know that I didn't do anything with that. She says, it was about yesterday and I'm saying I texted you. Hmm. I, you couldn't have texted me, Rose, because I, I don't give out my phone number. <laughs> so I don't think you could have texted me. Um, so I don't know what the question was. I thought I answered that yesterday. Okay. Aki says, hi, Glamma. Hi. Glad to have you back. Uh-oh, my battery's going to die, guys. Um, let me figure out how I can charge it. Hold on a second. Let me go grab my charger. I'll be right back. Are you having some lunch? Ooh, I don't think it's gonna reach. Ah, what's gonna happen? I don't think it's gonna reach. Okay. Oh, darn it, it's not gonna reach. What do I do, what do I do, what do I do? It's gonna die. Ah, eh. I don't have an extension cord anywhere handy, do I? No, I don't, so let me figure something out. 
I have an extension cord right here. Let's see if that'll work. I'll just have to be really careful. Oh, I turned my camera. Oh, that's not gonna work. Sorry guys, technical difficulties here. <laughs> Alrighty, maybe I can just put this on my lap. I found an extension cord under my under my vanity. I'll just have to hold on to it. Ah, it's about to fall though. Oh my word. So I'm sure I missed your question again, Rose. <laughs> because of this technical difficulties that I'm having. Okay, am I back in the shot? Yes, I am. Alrighty. Let me scroll up. I know now that text was the wrong word to use, so can you tell me what I should have said? Oh, did you, where was it? Where were you trying to get a hold of me at? Was it on here in your comment? So it would be comment, or is it on Facebook where you messaged me? Did you message me on there or something? Um, anyway, regardless of what it's called, what were you trying to ask me? So I'll put some highlight there and then I'll use my fan brush and I put a little bit here just to give me a little bit of a glow. A little J-Lo glow. <laughs> I put a little on my forehead, anywhere where the light would normally hit you and you would kind of glisten. That's kind of where I put it on all the high points of my face. That's it. Olivia says, good morning. I love your hair. I have alopecia. Alopecia, is that where your hair starts to thin out? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I feel like I'm starting to thin out here too, in the front, the older I'm getting. Um, she says, I could never use a flat iron on my hair. I used to have beautiful, long, wavy hair to the middle of my back. Oh, well, love your thick hair. And you know what? It looks like it's really thick, but it really isn't, guys. Look, at it's not very thick at all. Um, everyone thinks my hair is really, really thick. It's a lot thicker. It's a lot thinner than it actually looks. Maybe because it's dark, it looks fuller than it is. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, I like to um, kind of blend that all in. It's when your hair fall out on round bald spots. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I've seen um, pictures and heard of that um, where it really thins out. Yeah, so sorry to hear that, but they make gorgeous, gorgeous wigs these days. And you probably can't use um, extensions or would that make your hair fall out more? Because extensions would be a really cool way to get some volume in your hair. Um, I know I want to buy me a couple wigs because they make wigs look really, really realistic nowadays. So now I'm using BH Cosmetics um, Flawless Brow Trio. It's a brow defining kit. And it comes with the wax, a middle color, and a darker color. And I always use the middle color. If I do use the darker color, I use it on the outer part of my brows and the lighter color on the inside. But lately, I've just been doing this. Just using the middle color all over the place and I'm not doing it like Instagram perfect I'm just kind of doing it for a more natural look and I'm just following my my natural um, shape Trevor says hello glamour hi Trevor is really ah what's your name is it Vanessa no I told myself I was gonna remember your name because it's not really Trevor it's his girlfriend that's using his account but Am I right about the name Vanessa? Let me know if I'm right, because another name is not coming to me right now. But anyway, hello. <laughs> yes, Vanessa, yay, I got it right. <laughs> That's awesome. I've been trying to exercise my brain a little bit. <laughs> so it's working, yay. Because <laughs> usually I have really, really bad memory. Um. So yeah, just look at, I mean, to me, this makes a world of difference because when you use, um, when you define your brows, it's just like framing your face. If you don't do it, it's kind of like you have a pretty picture, but if you don't frame it, um, it's not as pretty as it could be. 
just gives it that little extra. Olivia says, I've thought about wigs, but it's not for me. I manage with what I have. That's good. Yeah. When, when will I see another crochet video? Soon, hopefully. Very soon. Um, remember I told y'all yesterday during my live session that I would be wearing my project today? Okay, Rose says, anywhere I could as I don't do Facebook, Twitter, etc. Okay, I... Okay, we're kind of stuck on what the words should be that you should have used and you're not letting me know what you were asking me. So just let me know what you were asking um, so I can answer it now for you. Dorothy says, hello, Glamma, looking good. I was late frying chicken and Mexican rice for my, for my son. Ooh, sounds good. Arroz con pollo. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I never get them perfect because there's that old saying, they're not, sis they're not twins, they're, they're sisters. Sometimes mine aren't even sisters, sometimes mine are cousins. <laughs> sometimes they're way off, especially because when I talk, I'll do this. I, I use a lot of facial mannerisms, and so they really look like they're off when I do that. But at least y'all know I don't have Botox in my face, right? I can still do all this. <laughs> I'm not against it. I'm actually considering that when I when I get a little older and need it, I'm definitely not against using anything like that. Sonia says you're funny, Glamour. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> About my eyebrows being cousins sometimes. Hi, baby girl. You got some funky hair. Your hair looks like what Glamour's hair looked like a minute ago. Okay, so that's what I've been doing. And, um, oh, I forgot. That while I had my, yeah, that is hot, baby, you're right. She looked at my curler. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all can stay in here and hang out. The camera's getting all the way to like right there. Olivia says, I have a brow that looks like it belongs to another family. <laughs> Worse than cousins, huh? Sonia says, yes, las primas. <laughs> yeah, I said, because that's the, the whole saying is they're, um, they're sisters, not twins. And I, like I said, sometimes mine are cousins. <laughs> But I like, I like uh, Olivia. Sometimes they look like they belong from a whole nother family. <laughs> so there's Finesse and there's Petrova. Finesse looks gorge. She has all her makeup done. Okay, so what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to show you that lately what I've been doing when I do the highlight, I've, instead of um, eyeshadow, I've just been putting highlight on my lids. A couple of the days I actually used a brown in the crease line um, to define it, but um, towards the beginning of the live sessions, but lately, the last couple days, I've just been doing this, just putting a little highlight on, just to give me a little, I don't know, a little finishing touch. Stephanie says, Olivia, that was funny. <laughs> Sonia says, that's funny, Olivia. Yes, that was very funny. <laughs> Are you waving, huh? Okay, and then I put a little bit in the tear duct area. This camera really makes me look washed out. Yeah, baby, don't touch it. The, the thing is still hot. Maybe I should turn this down a little bit. Oh, that really makes me... Baby, don't touch that, okay? Danielle says, hi, Petrova, cutie pie. <laughs> Someone say hi to you, babies. Okay, so this camera is making me... The lighting, the ring lights, making me look really washed out. I haven't figured it out in this house yet. Sonia says, hi, Petrova and Finesse, cuties. Um, yeah, let me just turn it back up because I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, and so there's that. And I've been using, I don't even know who it's by. I can't tell. But I've just been using this dark brown um, pencil liner and just kind of very faintly just doing my bottom tight line. Is this the tight line or water line? I forget. The bottom. The top is tight line. Yeah. The waterline, been doing the waterline. See, and it kind of makes my eye pop a little bit. Olivia says, tell your loves I said hi. They're saying hi, guys. No. <laughs> Touch. Say hi. <laughs> so just that right there, just putting a little bit on the waterline, just kind of makes my eyes come alive a little bit. They, they, they're not as, usually without it, it's like my eyes disappear. Do you see the bubbles? Let's show everyone what you're looking at. Are you looking at bubbles? Yes, you're so cute. You're 
so adorable, Petrova. <laughs> okay, so I do that, and then sometimes I'll go really close to the lash line where you can't even see it, and I only do that on the outer corner. Just a little bit like that. Rose says, that's difficult as it was a long time ago in my memory. Don't remember, but I was just trying to leave you a message. Oh, okay. Um, well, I certainly don't remember it either. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so that's it. And... Yesterday, so it looks like I don't have a whole lot of makeup on, but yet my complexion looks a little better, at least in my opinion. And um, let me put some stuff away here. And then I'll scroll up here in a little bit um, to see if I missed any comments. Oh, and here's my lip liner that Sonia and I were discussing just a minute ago. Olivia says, such a precious baby. Trevor says, could we see your daughter do your make do my makeup one day? Yeah, I keep asking her to do that, and she says she's not good at putting makeup on other people. One of the videos that I want to do really soon is me put makeup on her because I like putting makeup on people. I've only done it one, two, three times. I put some on my granddaughter, Danielle, twice, actually, on my husband just for a funny video. It was kind of like a challenge that was going around on YouTube and on my daughter-in-law, Jemmy, but I would love to put some on my daughter because she has gorgeous, gorgeous eyes and gorgeous lips. Um, Olivia says, yes, I agree. <laughs> okay, so this is the lip liner that Sonia and I were discussing. It's very, um, it's very close to my lip color. That's why I like it so much. Um, where's my sharpener? Here it is. And so you, it's very neutral, so you can wear it with just about anything but it just kind of defines your lips a little bit. Maria says, good afternoon, good afternoon. So here's my lip liner. And sometimes I fill in my whole lip with it. I wonder if I can zoom in. Can you zoom in? Yeah, I can, yay. But the camera's too high. I'm using my camera as a mirror. This side goes straighter. This side is round and plump. This side is flat. So I kind of overline on this side. Okay. So I think let me fix the camera. I might stay this close until I'm done with my lips. So you see, I didn't hardly do, and now that you can see my eyes closer, I didn't hardly do anything with my eyes. Um, let me see, let me finish the lips. I'm gonna put a little bit on the outer corner. Sometimes I fill the whole thing. Rosalinda says, good afternoon. Hope you and your family have a blessed day. Love your makeup videos. Oh, thank you. Now, the quality on this is not good at all, but usually I use my Canon camera. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to grab my Sigma lipstick. It's become my fave. I don't know the name of it anymore, but... It's nightlife, something, something. I can't see it, but it's it looks like this. I made a video about it when I got it. Ooh, Olivia says um, she has um, a Yorkie and two toy poodles and a long-haired chihuahua and a cat. And she asked if I still have two Yorkies. <sighs> Sadly, no. <laughs> My three pound baby, um, Kylie, died. It was a kind of a horrific thing that happened to her. She went before her time. Um, but I'm, I still, I can't talk about it because I still mourn over it and I still cry when I think about it. 
Um, but no, I don't have her anymore. All I have is Kylie now. So I'm going to be using my Kiss lashes and with just this, it kind of looks like you're full, fully made up. So, and I'm just using my eyelash glue from Walmart. It's strip lash with aloe and it's a brush on and I love it. I love the brush on a lot more than like the duo um, that you have to squeeze out because I end up squeezing too much out. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on here, brush it on, I don't know if you can see what I be doing. Okay, Olivia says, I'm sorry, tears, hugs, thank you. Yeah, it's, I'll just tell y'all, I think I talked about it either on Made With Love, no, either on Wake Up With Glamour or somewhere. Um, Willow actually killed her, and so she was near Willow's food dish, and Willow was nowhere in the room when we were living in the RV, came out of the bedroom of the RV, and just went and grabbed her neck, and we heard a big, loud screeching sound, and it was Kylie. Um... We were really, really angry at Willow that um, my son came and got her almost immediately, like within the hour, came and got her um, and took her to his place because we just couldn't look at her. We were so angry and we didn't want to do anything to hurt Willow. Um, I, I, I've had such mixed feelings about Willow since then. Um, kind of a love-hate relationship with her. It's bittersweet. Um, I love her because she's a sweet girl until she isn't. She's sweet with people. Um, just don't get her, you know, and she's pretty good with most animals, um, most dogs, as long as they don't come near her food dish. And that was the mistake that Kylie made. And we always told Kylie not to get near her food dish, but she never listened. Um, but look at the difference that eyelashes make. Rose says, thanks, Glamour, but I am new to this and I'm not sure how to abbreviate or word things. That's okay. Olivia says, is Willow a cat? No, Willow is a German Shepherd and we just recently rehomed her and all of our other pets. Um, so we only have Paris right now and when we can afford it, maybe I'll get another three pound Yorkie like Kylie. Kylie was three pounds and only three years old. Um, oh, I'm out of focus. Um, so, okay, but look at the difference that eyelashes makes, right? It doesn't look like I have too much makeup on, but this just kind of like adds that little extra zhuzh. <laughs> There's that. All right, now I can zoom out so you don't have to look at my face this close up. I think, I think I can zoom out. Okay, so that's that. Um, Aki says I have two cats myself. Um, so that's all I'm gonna do. Um, that's my no makeup makeup look. <laughs> Julia says, good afternoon, Glamma. Hope you are well and you look beautiful as always. Thank you. Wow, that took me 43 minutes. Excuse me, usually it takes me five minutes. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I was gonna get my lemon water when I came on with y'all so I could be drinking it. I had my coffee already, um, but not my lemon water. So I need to get some of that after I'm done here. And so yeah, this is my no makeup makeup look. <laughs> um, Olivia says, yes, eyelashes make your eyes pop. Boom, I know. There's a, oh, I'm like, that sounded vain, didn't it? I know. <laughs> I'm not a vain person. I just know that it makes such a difference on my eyes because I have virtually no eyelashes and that's what I meant. <laughs> um, Julia says, where do you get lemon water at? I just use my filtered water and um, that comes from my fridge or from um, our, our sink has water and then it has filtered water. <laughs> Olivia says, she's laughing at this, that I'm like, I know, right? Don't my eye don't my eyes just pop now? <laughs> I didn't mean it in a vain way. So what I do is I just buy lemons and squeeze 
one lemon into an eight ounce glass and that's what I drink in the morning and it's supposed to be so good for your digestive system, your skin, hair, vision, so many things that I can't even remember right now. And I know that um, a couple of people have said that I should try apple cider vinegar and um, I have tried it once and um, I shared with you a few sessions ago that my spiritual parents used to drink um, apple cider vinegar water every day. Stephanie says, hope you have a fabulous day. Chat with you next time. Bye, bye. Um, so every morning they would put one tablespoon of water, of, of apple cider vinegar into their eight ounce glass of water and they would both drink it and they were the healthiest people that I know. Um, they were in their, or they're in their 80s. She's still living, he's passed away, but they never had colds ever. I mean, so I know that that is really, really good too. But lemon water just sounds more, I don't know, appetizing to me because <laughs> it's like lemonade but without the sugar. Do you think lemon juice in a bottle would work? Hmm, I don't know. You'll have to do some research. I have no idea. I've just seen um, a YouTuber that's always drinking lemon water. And when she drinks it, I'm like, oh, that, that sounds so refreshing. Looks so refreshing. Um, and so I've tried it and I love it. Olivia says, used ACV apple cider vinegar with warm water and honey. Ooh, that sounds good. Just got lazy. That sounds really good. So what I'm going to do before I say goodbye is I thought, okay, so I did finish my crochet project that I've been talking about and that I showed y'all a sneak peek of. And I finished it last night because I was cold and I'm like, oh, I should turn the heat up. And I'm like, no, I should finish my project so I can show everyone in the morning. And I showed finesse and I said, do you think um, Petrola, that you would put one of these on Petrola? And she says, yeah. I said, I've been wanting... I've had this pattern in my head. I have a drawing book somewhere, a sketchbook somewhere, and I drew it in my sketchbook when I first started crocheting three or four years ago. I've had this pattern in my head for years and I'm just now making it. Now keep in mind, this is the most basic of the designs that are in my head. I'm gonna add on to it. Um, but I showed it to Adam and he's like, wow. He says, you should not show anybody that until you patent that. <laughs> And um, we actually looked into patents, and it's so hard to patent clothes because um, let's say that I show you this, and I haven't seen anyone else come up with this. <clears throat> I just came up with it because I'm always cold. But yet, sometimes you want your cute clothes to show, but you don't want to you don't want to cover it all up with a big coat or a sweater. But your arms are cold, so that's why I came up with this idea in my head a long time ago even before I started crocheting. Um, but then when I started crocheting, I'm like, ooh, I can probably make that design that I've had in my head forever. <clears throat> he said, you should patent it. But they said, I mean, he did a bunch of research. Well, not a bunch. He did some research and said, it's really hard to patent clothes because I could call it glamour's whatever design. But then if someone makes a little change to it, um, then it becomes a totally different um, thing that isn't necessarily my patent anymore. So. Without further ado, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So um, this is my size, and I thought it was going to be way too long, but it turned out to be pretty much perfect. Um, and the thing about it is I am, this is the basic. It looks so basic. You're going to be like, what? That's it? That's your that's your big um, top patent design. Um, but when I make the tutorial, I'm going to make it Petrova sized so that I can get through the tutorial fast. Tutorial? Tutorial fast. And then I'm going to tell my viewers, okay, re remember that project that we did? Um, go and get that because now we're going to add a collar to it. And then I'm going to say in a future video, okay, now go get that design again. And now we're going to add, um, we're going to add like a cuff to it. And then I'm going to say, okay, in a few weeks later, I'm going to say, go get that design again. Now we're going to add fringe to it. And then later I'll say, go get that. And now we're gonna turn it into a sweater. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get up without dropping this extension cord that's in my lap. And I'll show you my design. <clears throat> so what I'm calling it, I still have my sweats on and just a shirt on. Um, so what I'm calling it is, I haven't decided, but I think I'm calling it Glamma's Arm Warmers. Um, so here it is. 
this is my design. You're like, what? <laughs> it looks like nothing. So the way you would put it on is you would put your sleeves in, or put your arms in, I mean, and then put it over your head, and that's it. Voila. Um, so let's say that you've got a really nice outfit on and you don't want to cover it up or you have a really pretty dress on and you don't want to cover up your, your, your outfit and here's what it looks like in the back or you have something pretty or you have a low back on or you have lace in the back and you don't want to cover it, well, this is perfect, but yet you're cold so you have something for your arms to stay warm. I want to also keep this in my handbag, take it to the movies with me when I'm cold at the movies. So I thought it was going to be way longer. This is how long it is. Um, this side's rolled up and this side isn't, but I thought it was going to be so much longer than it is. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to do this. And like I said, later we're going to add a collar to it. Later we're going to put like a tight fitting cuff on it. And so that's going to kind of push this up like this and make it a little bit um, scrunched up and then we're going to put a nice fitted cuff on it. Later we can put fringe on it and all kinds of stuff. I have all kinds of ideas. So that's it. That's what I've been working on. And when I make the tutorial, I'm going to make it in Petrova size. So yeah. <laughs> and I've got so many other ideas on how to make these differently to be more summery, more springy and everything. So you'll have to, um, if you're not already subscribed to Made With Love, go and subscribe. So let's see if I missed any comments. Olivia says, okay, I already saw that one. Yours will be the first, yay! <laughs> um, and you know, like I said, I've had this design in my head for years, but lately, I don't know if y'all have watched any beauty gurus, what people are doing now is, let me get up for a second, they are buying sweatshirts, big, long sweatshirts that go all the way back here. They leave the back alone, but they cut the sweatshirt like this to where it's just the back. And I'm like, oh my word, that almost looks like my design. I better get my design out there um, before someone else comes up with it. <laughs> so you saw it here first. And I think I'm calling them, calling it Glamour's Arm Warmers. I considered calling it Glamour's, um, what else? Glamour's crochet sleeves. Adam said I should call it, you know, you know how there's sleeveless shirts? He says you should call it shirtless sleeves. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, Rose says, hi, Glamour. My Paris is washing himself online. Oh, Paris is back there bathing herself, yes. Julia says, I just tried it, but it didn't taste good. Aw. <laughs> I like it. It's an acquired taste, but it's so refreshing in the summertime. Um, Danielle says it's lovely. Aki says lovely design. That would be great over here. It's so cold here. Rose says very nice, Glamour. Olivia says it's a great idea. Go on Shark Tank and sell it. Yeah, except for the fact that um, patents on something like this, you know, probably wouldn't hold up too well. I've got another design that I've had since Finesse was a newborn has to do with newborn and bottles and stuff like that that I even drew out years ago. I had her at 26, so it was 20 I was 26 when I came up with this design and I would love to patent that and I still haven't seen it on the market, so I would love to patent it. Sonia says, "Love it, Glamma." Olivia Howard says, "Adam is funny." Oh, Adam is in here? Oh, oh, what Adam said about calling it a uh, shirtless sleeves. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. Julia says, "It might be better if it if it if I had a real lemon yeah I mean it's a sour water basically um, because it's lemon water and if you put sugar in it it kind of like takes away from the benefits of it all so you just have to have an acquired taste to it Xenia says very good glamour the blue color is is neat on you I'm sure she meant to say neat on you so yeah um oh great on you okay she meant to say great all right so that's my design <laughs> and you see if you're one that sweats or whatever but yet your arms are cold look your armpits can still breathe Woo! i feel like i'm flying so i'm gonna make one for petrova and when i do i'll make a tutorial on it but i can just see this look so pretty and elegant and on the runway with crochet thread and like i said i have other ideas for it 
So, all right, guys. Um, I think I'm going to say goodbye. I've been on for 55 minutes, and you got ready with me. That's what, if, for those, yeah, yeah, I'm spitting. For those, <laughs> I'm not spitting. I'm kind of like bleh, stumbling over my own tongue. For those of y'all that aren't um, very, or yeah, I can't even think of how to say it, who don't go on YouTube videos and watch beauty videos and don't know what the title of this means, G-R-W-M, it's Get Ready With Me. So most of y'all probably know, but just for those of y'all that don't, that's what G-R-W-M means. So y'all um, got ready with me and uh, watched me do my hair, my makeup, and saw my new design. Alrighty guys, so I'm hoping to start one as soon as I find my yarn box. I'm hoping to start one for Finette, um, for Finesse, for Petrova. <clears throat> probably next week, so I'll probably get the tutorial up then. So I'm start saying goodbye to me so I can say bye to y'all. Olivia says, okay, see you later. <laughs> Olivia says, you're making me laugh out loud. So cute. Um, Rose says, hi, Glamo. How's that work? Do you need to rush to regeneration you idea once you've shown it live online? I love lemons. I eat them. Yeah, just be careful when you eat lemons straight because it's not good for the enamel on your teeth. I love them too. Olivia says, okay, see you later. Julia says, you can call it Glamour Short Shirt. <laughs> um, Danielle says, bye, hugs. Aki says, bye. Okay, bye, everyone. I love you guys so much. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love everyone you come in contact with. And most importantly, don't forget how much I love you. All right, so this is my last day of going live daily. But still, go check out Wake Up With Glamour. If you're not subscribed to it, subscribe to it because I'm going to be trying to make videos, I think, on a daily basis. Even if they're only two or three minutes long to let you know what I'm doing that day or what I did the night before. I'm still going to be trying to keep up with this channel unless they demonetize it. Then I just may forget about it and work on Glam It Up With Glamour and Made With Love By Glamour. If you're not already subscribed to those channels, go and subscribe. Alrighty, guys. I love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.